What up guys, quick sample test of my little microphone right here. I wanna see how the sound comes along. I got my little rig going on the back of the uh, iPhone. So let's see what this sounds like. What's going on my beautiful people? Big homie back, coming back to you about the Everstart Max. This beautiful little device right here. A little dusty, I apologize for that. Haven't had to use it cross my fingers but uh, I was using it for a minute fun fact I was using it for a minute like uh, once a week because my daughter has a 2020 Kia Optima and for some reason I don't know like um, I think she's really leaving the light on inside of the car but um, anyway she's good to go now I think we I think we ended up replacing her battery but anyway to, to my peoples who are asking the questions about how to use this um, so, of course, this has a, um, a air compressor, right? Uh, and the air compressor, uh, all you do is basically all the controls are pretty much straightforward. Um, so if you want to use the light, you just go ahead and hit that. And it also shows you the percentage of the, uh, of the battery. So let's turn that off LED. And if you wanted to do the alternator check, you would actually have your cables in another fun fact um my wife and my daughter broke the be very careful with this connector because if you pull and tug on it it will break this is from a third party um you can pick one up pretty cheap on amazon um that's where i got this one and uh because the ones that came with it not that they were um badly constructed but they didn't last my family can be uh my family can be pretty rough with tech but anyway uh, let's get to the next thing. So if you want to do an alternator check or when you're uh, actually doing the jump start, you will plug the cables into the back area, right? And then go ahead and hit this and it's going to check your alternator if it's connected to anything. Let you know uh, if the battery is, is low or, or uh, so on and so forth. So also you would leave that on because it's going to show that the leads are connected to the positive and negative and then you can go ahead and give the uh the vehicle it'll show you the battery battery level of the car that you have it hooked to and you can go ahead and give it a jump while this is on right pretty straightforward right and when you're ready when you're finished with it the car's jumped and everything you just hit the button again right okay so for wireless charging which is right here up at the top if you want to use it you would hit that button right take your device and there you go all right that activates the wireless charger all right okay go ahead and turn that off all right so for usb charging same thing all right you go ahead and hit this little usb button right there and that's going to turn on the two ports that just lit up for me you go ahead plug right into that bad boy this is the charging port for the device itself when you're trying to charge the actual battery for the unit. All right, go ahead and hit that. All right, and then for air, it's the same thing. You'll go ahead and hit air. Immediately, this has a built-in gauge. It's gonna tell you right now, you can see there's no tire pressure because I don't have the, uh, the, uh, the uh, gauge, the cable screwed onto anything. Let me show you in the back. So you've just activated it. You turned it on. That's it, right? And then let's say you want, I have mine set to 40. So this is where I like my tire pressure, 40. Watch, it's going to pop up again. It should. 40. There you go, right? So it's not going to go over that, guys. When you have it connected and sealed tightly, take this cable screw it all the way on tightly before you hit that button right all the way tightly right you shouldn't hear any air going in or out then once you are ready to go okay you got everything connected it's on your wheel tight then you're going to go ahead and hit that air button right it's going to pump up your tire it's going to pump up your tire and tell you um, it's going to pump your tire up until uh, it reaches with whatever level you actually have that set to. And then that's it. It's going to turn off. 
right? And that's pretty much how you do it, guys. Um, pretty straightforward. You can actually use all of these functions at the same time, which is really cool. Um, and you hit the air button again, that's going to turn it off. Pretty straightforward, simple device. Guys, if you have any other questions, please feel free to hit me up. Let me know. Um, I appreciate the questions and the communication. And uh, I love uh, networking and communicating with you guys. All right. I hope that this answers your questions. Again, this is for the EverStart Max. And I'm going to actually uh, shout out and actually post the names of the couple of people who had uh, questions um, in the description. Um, I'll tag you guys. So that way, hopefully, you'll get notified. And I didn't take too long. I was supposed to do this last Friday. But uh, as you can see, your boy is at work, you know. Anyway, peace, love, and blessings. I'll catch you guys in the next one.